and I just went 100% for I, I picked Valentina purely because, uh, you know, that Muay Thai clinch that she gets you in. And mm-hmm. these girls are trying to rush her. And uh, Nunez mm-hmm. in the third round trying to rush her. You know, she grabbed her, hit her with a quick knee, a quick elbow, and that, I, I don't know. So I started thinking, what would happen if the fight go five rounds? But we'll find mm-hmm. out, though, this time. Right, right, yes. Yeah, it'll be, you know, Shevchenko has, is strong, and she's got great striking. Um, you know, the thing that... I think a lot of people don't really understand is that, um, you know, it's, it's great stand up, but it's, it's not, um, like they're not killing girls out there. They're winning by points, you know? And, um, that's what I love about Sikh Jitsu is we're just kind of the opposite. We like to, you know, actually fight people and, and beat them up, you know? And I, I've seen Julie just, do that to people and I have not seen girls do that to people you know what I mean and and that constant pressure that she brings is just non-stop it just it doesn't it doesn't go away and so that's you know I think that what my prediction is is that Shoshenko will be winning the early rounds but I think if it goes the distance I think Juliana will will eventually get that takedown because she just don't let up and I was, you know, and I was surprised even with like when she fought Kat Zingano she was able to pressure her you know, and so, um, but we'll see, you know, like, I know Shevchenko ain't no punk, she took out, you know, Holly Holm, who's not easy at all, but yeah. this will be a different different style, different matchup, so it's going to be exciting. Yeah, it's going to be a different matchup, you know, and, yeah, what, what do you think about some of the criticism that Holly's getting, because, see, it, you know, this, this kills me about, you know, combat sports, it kills me, you know, if you, if you take a couple of losses, then, you know, automatically, you know, people just assume, oh, well, well, you suck, but you know, mm-hmm. you know, I, I've been telling people Holly Holm lost to really two, you know, world class competitors. I mean, that's who she lost to, and you know, Misha mm-hmm. Tate, world class, you know, uh, Valentina, yeah. world class, and and between the two, they've had you know, darn near you know, seven hundred fights. I'm talking about between all the disciplines that they've ever fought before, and you know, right. so I mean, what do you think about the the, the, the criticism? Um. I don't know. Uh, I definitely don't think Holly Holm sucks, but I definitely think that she is overrated. And you might not agree with that, but that's yes. okay because um, <laughs> that's okay. She, 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 I mean, she, she has had lots and lots of stand-up experience. She was, you know, champion. I, I'm not f- very familiar about everything, but I know that she was like a world-class champion. Or not a world-class, but, you know, a champion, women's boxing champion yep. or something like that. And, boxing, kickboxing. Um, yeah, yeah, kick, in kickboxing, um, mm-hmm. you know, and so it's not like she hasn't had combat experience for many years, she has, and so she's had this this part where she's, like, not very experienced, you know, ground wrestling, grappling, um, you know, but they just have her so, like, she's going to win every single fight, and I just thought that was just weird, because I was like, she's got a lot lacking, you know, and there's girls in there that are, are you know, getting more well-rounded, so, you know, I thought that they hyped her up a little bit, but I definitely don't think she sucks, and I think that MMA is a very hard sport to compete in, so having two losses, I mean, that's nothing new, and you know? It's, it's hard to stay <laughs> so undefeated. I think about that. What's that? And it's hard to stay undefeated. Yeah, it rarely happens because there's just so much to it. It's not one-dimensional like boxing, you know? Like So, I mean, you know, it's it's a tough sport. I believe you. Hey, now, uh, mm-hmm. now you know, because, uh, you know, some of the fans are going to be listening to this. You know, you got some boxing fans that's listening. And, you know, they're going to mm-hmm. – I've seen some <laughs> MMA guys. Now, I've seen them. You know, you're going to have some people in the comments section. They're going to say, oh, man, I've seen some MMA and Muay Thai fighters get into a boxing ring, and I done mm-hmm. seen them get completely annihilated, vice versa. You uh-huh. know, I, I have. I've seen mm-hmm. it. Because it was just yeah. one guy, and I'll make it quick. This guy, Muay Thai fighter, he was good, real good. You know, had had a little bit of MMA background. And he knocked out this boxer. He goes, yeah, those boxes, those boxes ain't S-H-I-T. And I said, oh, okay. I said, man, hey, you're going to get in there with somebody, you know, who's going to slip punches and, and be able to move. I said, man, you got to learn how to move your head or something. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> and, you know, he got in there with a very skilled technical boxer, and he got his ass knocked out. And, and that, that's just how it is. And, and I said, hey, man, I tried to tell you. 
I tried to tell mm-hmm. you, but you didn't listen. Right. Right. <laughs> yep. Yep, it's true. And, you know, like, it's just vice versa. You know, when it comes down to it, you step into a sport that you're not familiar with, you know, you're at a disadvantage. You know what I mean? And, and uh, you know, I just have this love for mixed martial arts because it's just so much more, so much more to it, you know. And it's And I still have... You know, I still have a thing for boxing, but I've definitely moved into, you know, the mixed martial arts, you know, putting, seeing, it's exciting to see, like, which style, you know, it works for who, you know what I mean, and, and how, and which style is the best, you know, it's, it's still fun to compare, and, and you always see something a little bit different, you know. Well, and too, you know, it seems like that there's a lot more opportunities, you know, and you got, and I'm gonna be honest, you, you got probably, your personality, man, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's pretty explosive. It's it's exciting because, you know, when I'm watching you interview, you know, I'm always wondering what she gonna say. But, but you got you guys are good for the sport, and I don't think a lot of people uh-huh. don't realize that. But you guys are making the sport, and you're making the opportunity. So, I think it's a lot right. more opportunity in women's MMA. That's that's my opinion because boxing, for these women, no, it, there's none. it's it's just it's almost none, next to none. But you know, with mm-hmm. the emergence of, of of Shields, you know, she's boxing. Hopefully. She can actually bring a name to the sport and make it grow, but it's it's it's, it's almost dead for women. That... Right. It seems like it anyway. I mean, I don't really hear much about it. It's not really like in my face, you know, at all. Like women's MMA is. It's always on, and you're. I'm always talking about it. So that's unfortunate. Mm. Yeah, it is. It's pretty unfortunate. Mm. All right. Last couple mm-hmm. of things I want to ask you about. I, I know you. I know you're a busy girl. Hey, um, mm-hmm. have you ever played as yourself on a UFC? Uh, EA Sports. Have you ever played it? <laughs> I haven't. No, and you know what? I saw it at Walmart the other day, and I was so tempted to buy it. I haven't even bought it yet. I need to own it. Actually, I just want to have it. Um, but I have. I've had so many of my friends be like, "I'm playing you right now on USC two, and you just knocked out Ronda." Blah blah. And I just laugh. You know, it's funny. But I haven't. I haven't played it yet. So I, I actually played as you. One day. You have? Yeah, I played as you. And uh, I always make you, (laughs) what I like to do, I like to make you jump off the fence and then throw that kick. Uh And so, you know, Uh hopefully you'll do that in a real real match. But, yeah, I like to make you run against the fence. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, and you know what? That's awesome. It's kind of, you know, I guess this version of it, the first versions of the game they made, I didn't think it was very accurate. But this version, you know, they, they even got some of your facial features. They got your speed right. I mean, hey, you know. I think yeah, they didn't do too bad compared to, like, all the other ones. <laughs> <I was laughs> like, man, some of these do not look like that person at all. You know, I was just glad they didn't mess up super bad on me. Like, you know, I was like, okay, that's not that bad. That kind of looks like me, you know. So I, I was happy they didn't completely butcher me. Yeah, I'm glad they didn't. You know, it, it but, you know, it's kind of cool, though. It's kind of cool seeing that and, you know, looking at everything's evolved. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. It's, I, I, I never really thought about that because they asked me a couple of years before. They're like, oh, they should have a video game or action figure or something. And I was like, well, you know, I don't think they have anything like that out there. And <laughs> like two years, two, three years later, boom, they make the UFC 2 and I'm on it. And I'm just like, wow, that's so crazy. I need to play it. Yeah, you need to go play it. I'm, I'm shocked. And then you can put yourself yeah. in a ring and you can just put it on two mm-hmm. players and and then you know you can just beat the hell out of the other person that's next to you, you know to get to get you you know to get you a feel of what what's gonna happen you know that's that that's what you ought yes. to go do. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick it up now. <laughs> uh oh, see I I'm am. making I'm making you I'm, I'm making you go waste money before Christmas time. Come on now. <laughs> oh, I've already wasted tons of money, so <laughs> it's like, you know it's it's that Christmas season and that ruins me so bad. So you know I'm already there this month. Oh, well, you know, hey, tis the season. <laughs> tis the season, but I know you're going to have some fa la 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 in your joy. Hey, oh, yes. Hey, last question. Who is your pick for Rousey versus Nunez? You know what? I am going for Nunez. And I'm hoping that with her speedy stand-up, I hope she just, just puts her out. You know, I'm just wishing. I'm hoping. I'm, st- I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what I want. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Brat that. Okay, okay. Well, I ain't never heard it explained like know? that. Yeah. Yeah, it might not happen, but that's what I'm going. That's my prediction that she's just gonna. Oh, sorry, <laughs> language on here. Bleep that yeah. out if you can. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nah. Hey, listen. You go ahead. You speak your mind. You can say what you can say what you want. I, I, 
just just go ahead, Key, because it's it's it's, it's you, you know. I I don't want to censor what you're saying. Okay. I don't mind. No. That's my prediction, though. You know, and it, Rousey comes back. Um, she, you know, took some time off, which I probably would have too. But you know, like some of the shit she says just pisses me off. Like, oh, I'm not gonna come fight anymore, and just like, you know, we talked about deer in headlights. Even though you think that I don't come off as, you know, um, insecure or whatever, you know. But some of the stuff she says is like, I'm just like, wow, that's weird coming from her. Do you think she's super confident? You oh. know. But um, uh, I'm just like, man, Nina's just just put her. You know, back into Hollywood or something. You know. I, I think you and probably half the population, and I got a couple of subscribers to this channel, uh, especially you, Ivan. I know Ivan is probably, he gonna be dancing in, in a room because you said that. Um, it, it is. It's, it's a lot of people that want to see her lose, and you know, and, and and let me ask you this too. Now, since we already own it, what did you think about the comments that you know? Well, first she said she can beat, you know, said she can go beat up Floyd Mayweather. And then uh, uh, she said uh, she can probably beat anybody. Like, what, what, what did you think about that, that portion of what she said? I thought it was silly. Yeah. I thought it was completely silly because I'm just like, it's not that I don't think she can beat a man. She definitely can. But when you take one elite male and then an elite female, it just doesn't compare. And, you know, there's females that could upset her any time of day in the octagon in her own division, let alone her trying to fight someone like TJ Dillashaw. Yeah, right, you are not beating him up. No. You know, because she talked about being able to beat the champion man at 135, and I'm like, no, you are not. That's not happening. You know? <laughs> so, yeah, they do like to throw Floyd a lot Mayweather of And Floyd would knock her ass out, so <laughs> I'm sorry. I, did not, I thought it was silly. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well, Elizabeth, this is the last part. This is the last part of the interview, and this is the game we're going to play, okay? All right, let's see if you can beat all the other other discipline sports. You know, um, I, I done interviewed, uh, I, done, I done asked Antonina Sevchenko these questions. I done asked Jarena Bars these questions. It's called Name That Boxer, okay? Now, okay. let's see if you can name all the fighters that I mentioned, okay? Okay. All right, let's start with the first one. 